down here along the river, this is a neighbor's property. They got a pond, kind of floods, the river floods into it. And uh, anyways, they, uh, it's, it's not an individual. It's Okay, let me say a little bit about where we are. I'm about 200 yards north of the Arkansas River. This is really looks like a little pond. I'd say it's probably, a, right now it's probably a half acre. And it's really, really low. It's actually about, I'd say about six foot below normal. But the river, every time it gets high, when I say high, I don't mean like epic flood, but generally every spring or every other spring, the river will get high enough that it'll fill this pond. Water will run from the river in here. When that happens in the spring, this pond will fill up with sand bass, striper, crappie, things that are that are you know moving in the spring. If it happens in midsummer, we get like a midsummer flood. A lot of them crappie will leave the pond, and you'll end up with a pond full of bass and then trash fish like carp and gar. The river hasn't been up in here since. Uh, last spring and so there is crappie in here I came down yesterday uh, just to see you know what was biting and I, I just got a I got a couple phone calls uh, I, I wasn't able to fish very much but I did end up catching five crappie so once the shade covered the pond the shad seemed to all go down I, there was there's my phone again Once the uh, sh sh shadows covered the water, the, uh, the shad quit busting, the crappie quit coming up. I was catching all these crappie last night, uh, pulling the cork real slow with a couple of jigs right behind it. And I brought a couple stringers, so maybe we'll have crappie tonight. Let's see. There's a nice eater. Ain't no giant. You wouldn't you wouldn't put that picture up at the bait shop. But if you was hungry for crappie, you wouldn't have any trouble eating that one. The reason I'm using a cork is because it draws the attention of the fish. They're chasing shad in here. There's shad busting here and there, and when they see that rippling across the surface, it draws them, and then right behind it, they're finding a grub and a shimmy shad and so uh without the cork I, I, I don't catch very many with the cork i get a bite pretty regular There he is. Yeah. That's more in line with what we're looking for right there. Last night when I was checking this out, I was catching them all on a white grub and I had a chartreuse grub on bottom. And uh, I think I only caught one and the other four I caught on the grub. So I stuck with the same colors. I just put a shimmy shad and a spinner on the bottom. So if I can if I can put 20 on the stringer like that, I'll be pleased.
Well, I walked around the bank with a beetle spin and I caught another little crappie for the stringer. It's about as small as I'll take. I pulled this little butter ball out. Man, that fish is heavy. I know it ain't long, but it is fat. Looks like it got a shad tail sticking out of its mouth. That's probably a two pound fish, even no bigger than it is. Okay guys, I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, here's my five crappie that I'm gonna keep. I don't have any giants on there. A uh, couple of decent sized crappie and three what I would call small crappie. I end up catching seven crappie total and five bass. Uh, one bass about two pounds. So, you know, I didn't set any records or do anything to brag about today, but the clouds just keep rolling in. I've heard it thunder once. I don't think it's supposed to rain, but it's definitely not getting any better. The shad aren't breaking like they were when I got here, and it's just going downhill. I'm going pig hunting tonight with my uncle with his thermals. So I want to go home, get these cleaned, get plenty of time to rest before we go hit the, uh, hopefully kill some pigs this evening. So thank you guys for watching. It's early. Uh, get out there and find some crappie.